Hello, everybody. This is going to be a quick video on uh, the second utility function we're going to build uh, to make our lives easier, make our lives better. Uh, this one uh, also has a very long name. It's uh, Create Faceable Double Arrays for Iterative Averaging. It takes a piece of data. And we're just going to call the constructor for Faceable Double Arrays, um, and then we specify a function So, um, on how to initialize each of the buffers. So if you tunnel into Faceable Double Arrays, double arrays I just control clicked on that. Uh, in Windows or Linux, or you can command click on code and tunnel in on the Mac. Uh, and you can see that, you know, we're past this original data, we pass that along to our superclass, and then we are going to use the initializer to create two buffers, and those get passed along to Facebook and uh, get used to uh, calculate uh, source and disk for those. Um, so these buffers are going to get reused over and over again, and so we need to tell it how to create these buffers, okay? Um, and so, you know, we're gonna be told this function gets past the original data, these will be the same value. Um, but when looking at this, you know, that'll know how long each buffer should be. So you can use the length of this. And the other thing that you wanna do is make your life easier for all the iterative averages that you're gonna build. Um, if we look at this image, which shows how we're gonna slice up the data, you notice we're going to want to operate on these slices independently, and we don't want to have to deal with the, you know, the first and last element or item in the array. So it'd be nice if our buffers just copied those values over from original. Um, so uh, this should be useful. Once you're done with this, you can use this in all your iterative averages, all your parallel ones. And so uh, you'll definitely want to build this.